The word of the Lord. I'm crazily in love with Jesus Christ. Totally in love with Mother Mary. And I love my church. And when I was thinking about Lyft and I was thinking about Boston, I'm like, God, Lord, what am I going to tell them? I've got nothing to say. Who am I? I've done this ridiculous thing of change, adding a saint to my name and I wear a cross on the outside. I'm an idiot. I'm coming home. You've asked me to come home. Man, everyone's going to be like, dude, aren't you the son of, you know, Mrs. or Mrs. Rare? Didn't you? Aren't you the son of Joseph and Mary? That same attitude that was in the scriptures towards Jesus. I don't want to deal with this, Lord. Jesus is taken down from the cross and he's placed in Mary's arms. We have the famous statue of the Pietà. All of you here tonight, think about that. Jesus was beaten, bruised, lifeless, marred, disfigured, unpopular, hated. And the Blessed Virgin Mary was holding him in her arms with all of that. And she she loved him and was even protecting him. If you stare, and I looked at that station, and she's like protecting him. Even though he's lifeless, there's something in her that knows that it's not the end. She caresses him. She cares for him. The body of Christ in her arms. Today, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, my friends and hopefully new acquaintances, no matter where you are in life, no matter what's going on, the body of Christ today continues to be marred and beaten and ridiculed. The body of Christ is the church today. Jesus Christ promised he would be with us. Look at it, her. She loved the body of Christ, no matter what everybody was saying about him. She loved him with all the blood. And I tell you what, being out in Hollywood and traveling the world, I just see the body of Christ get beat up more and more. And it's unfortunate, but my fellow co-workers in television and media aren't helping at all. But she said yes to the will of God. Even though she would be completely ridiculed for doing it. And because of that radical yes, You and I now have Jesus Christ. If she didn't say yes, I don't know where we would be today. And you know what? The world needs your yes to the will of God in your life.